suppose that sometimes you have some sets here and for example uh, for example you want to divide them into three parts just as an example I can come here and duplicate these items here so as you can see they will have a kind of suffix or index at the end and there are one two three that you can rename them for example for the first one uh, let me have a right click on it and then rename it actually I can just name it level one so I can come here again and by keeping the control button of course I can just by height unselected I can just do the work easier and by keeping the control button I can just uh, unselect the items that I don't need here let's see I can do it or not or I can do something else wait I can actually choose the items and things that I want like this and then I will come here I have a right click on it update it that it will be set and then I can for example come on this item you know by F2 you can rename it let me name it level 2 and then I come here I choose for example level 2 and then have a right click on it and then update it and then again here I just rename it as level 3 so I can go on a screen and then click on the screen I can choose the third floor and the last floor of course and just update it again then I can just show all in now you see like this uh, let me actually hide it so like the columns with it with duplicate you can do it actually the point here is you can just hide or not hide everything that you want for the sets here it means you can do the hide and unhide for these sets too. And actually, by having a right click on the icon, you can just have access to hide or unhide of them. You have to be careful that if you choose every icon or item here, you won't see any kind of information in properties. And actually, not for this one, and but for this one, you can see some information. And the time it will happen that uh, the information uh, is the same in one category, for example. And if it is different, it won't be shown to you. It means that all of the parameters here are the same now in this category. And then if I hide it, I can. It will be written here. Yes. So very easily, I can understand that they are hidden or not. Because actually, in the shape of icon, nothing uh, will be shown to you, and you cannot understand and comprehend that it is hidden or not. So I can show it again by having a right click. Now let me talk a little about search set. Actually search set is a very useful ability that could help you to find the elements and different, I don't know, big different parameters that you have in your project. Um, actually if you remember we had some items and we needed of course some items that we didn't have them in the select selling. Uh, select selling. And actually it can fulfill our needs uh, just or dreams that we want in our project <laughs> but actually search sets can really do everything that we want in our project so to do this work we can choose we can use find items that uh, by default it is closed that if you click on it it will be open to you let me just pin it that it will be easier so let me minimize them of course you know properties window is very important we need it so let me minimize this one just for some moments and actually we have this window here and we have some tools that will talk about them to you just let me tell you a uh, kind of know that for example if you want to choose something or find something very fast you go on element and then for example i mean category element and just have a right click and copy that and then for example you want to find you can do it by uh, for example find so I paste it here and by clicking on it that actually by this way it will be found or even if uh, for example on the, on the screen you will have control plus F this window is again open and you can find the things that you want if you notice it is not really sensitive on lowercase or uppercase it can you can type everything that you want it means if I just type the S in uppercase and see in uppercase again again it will find the things that they need uh, in my work 
So here it means it's because we have the information here, uh, so it means it's finding them. So it let me click on it, it will choose the all of them, and again for next, it will choose this one. And if you just click on this icon, it will be switched uh, among the columns or the elements that you have. This is a kind of fast finding. By a text, you can find the thing very fast. But actually, the window of find items is really a more better. Why? Because it will find the things in details exactly um, that you want in your project. And we will talk about them in the next part.